everyone, it's me, Lisa, from FantabulouslyFrugal.com. I wanted to share this month's Wantable box with you guys, but I thought I would do it in a different way. Um, I've been opening the boxes and looking at them and sometimes posting them on my blog before I get a chance to do the video. So instead of opening it with you guys live, I thought I would share the products that I received and also show them off a little bit because I actually um, did my makeup using all of the products I received today, which I haven't um, I haven't done before. Wantable, of course, is a full-size beauty subscription box. It costs $36 per month if you subscribe or $40 if you just want to get one box. Uh, they send all full-size products, they're designer beauty products, so the value of the box is usually quite high. Um, and they send you a sheet that includes a description of every product that you receive along with the cost of those products. So the value of my box this month is actually about $77.99, which isn't bad. It's uh, over double um, what I paid for it. So that's awesome. So with that being said, I thought we would just get started here. Uh, the first item I received was Golden Rose Sexy Black Mascara which I am not familiar with the Golden Rose, Golden Rose brand at all, although it has a really pretty, um, this is like a velvet applique um, on, on the mascara tube itself, which is kind of awesome. So this has an interesting brush. If you can see that, it's, um, it has like, it gets larger at the end there. Sorry, I can't figure out how to describe that. Um, so I used that today on my mascara and it's actually pretty intense. Um, it gives you great coverage. Um, I did, what I used the bulbous ending there for is actually to do my bottom lashes and it worked really well. Um, normally I don't do that much mascara um, on the bottom and you can't really tell so well here um, but it made it really easy to apply it there it was a little more awkward doing my top lashes with it um, so I'd have to get used to that but overall it, it went on well I was able to do multiple coats with no problem and I kind of liked it um, the only thing is really just getting used to that different type of applicator which isn't really that big of a deal at all so anyhow, again, this is Golden Rose Sexy Black Mascara, and this has a retail value of $12.99. So this almost seems like it's a higher-end drugstore brand. I'm not really sure. I, like I said, I haven't heard of this brand. I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, no big deal with that. Um, okay, so our next product here, we have Star Looks, and this is an eyeliner pencil. And the color is, it's Moody Melody. And it's an interesting color because it's black, but it almost looks, and you're not gonna be able to see the color nuance there, but it almost looks blue to me. When I put it on, I have um, brown eyes, obviously, and depending on, if I'm wearing blue eyeliner or something like that, it makes my eyes appear really light and when I applied when I applied this mascara I was getting that same effect so I think this is a really subtle black that has a little bit of um, blue undertone to it uh, the the eyeliner itself I actually really like um, these days it seems like eyeliner is getting really um, really soft and to me it makes it really hard to apply um, I like harder harder eyeliner um, is easier for me to control, especially um, on my left eye. Um, I don't know, I have a harder time applying eyeliner there. So I thought this eyeliner was actually really easy to apply because um, the formula itself wasn't as soft, is that, if that makes any sense to you. Um, so I'm a big fan. I love getting new eyeliner. I really liked the color, even though, like I said, I don't think it's a true black. It just doesn't look like it's true black to me. But this is a product I will definitely be using quite a bit, so I'm happy to have received it. And this eyeliner retails for $12. So next up, we have Manicadar 
Beauty Simplified Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. And this is a pretty big, um, pretty big tube of this lotion. I've purchased products like this in the past, and to be honest with you, I never go through them. Uh, this is just so much makeup in here um, that I just, I don't use it every day, and I use so little of it when I do use it um, that it, it lasts me forever. So this is pretty much a lifetime supply of this product. Um, what I did with this today, Sheer Glow Lotion, Shimmer Lotion, of course, is supposed to just really it's really light it's really fine it's just supposed to add a little bit of extra glow to your face so i when i was applying my cc cream and i'm still using the pure minerals cc cream that i talked to you guys about a few months ago i mixed some of this in with it and I actually i thought it it worked really well it applied um so fantastically to my skin as i was applying my makeup today i thought wow my skin looks good um, which isn't something I say very often at all. So I'm a big fan of this. Um, I'll definitely be using it again. And I think I'm going to keep mixing it in with my CC cream. It didn't, it didn't make anything any thicker. It just made my skin look a little glowier, if that makes sense. Um, so definitely a big fan of this. I'm glad they sent it. And even if I use it more than I've used these products in the past, I still think this is almost a lifetime supply for me. Um, this product, again, it's from Mana Kadar, retails for $29. Next up we have, I'll just show you this little, little sample. Um, it's Skin Soothing and Smoothing Eye Cream. Um, this doesn't have any sort of retail value. You might remember last month they sent me a skin product and I wasn't happy because I recently discovered I really don't like this brand. And I'm sorry to them, it's just, it's it's me it's not them some products just don't work for some people skin products don't work for me so this was thrown into the box there's no value attached to it um, but it was there so I thought I would share it with you guys I did not use that product today and then the final item that was in my box I'm sure you can guess based on my very red lips right now was Michael Marcus lipstick and the color itself is Debbie um, last month, I talked about how awesome it was that uh, the Wantable, Wantable sent me two different lip products that were very neutral, um, because generally that's what I prefer. Uh, but being that it's the holidays and we do have some holiday parties and events to attend, I was excited to receive something a little more bold this month. This is a great month for um, getting out of your comfort zone, I guess, at least for me, and trying something new. And red lipstick, I think, can be tough. Sometimes I get them and I don't like them. If it has really strong uh, orange undertones, it doesn't work for me. I think this color that they sent, Debbie, again, is fantastic. Um, I'll show you the tube here. Um, it's almost like a cherry red, and it just it goes on really easily. It's full coverage, obviously it's bold. I think it looks fantastic. So I'm really happy that I received this. I'll be getting plenty of use out of it this month. Um, and this Michael Marcus lipstick costs $24. So like I said at the beginning of this video, the retail value of my Wantable box this month was about $77.99, which is pretty darn good. I love that this month Wantable sent four products that you could use that you could combine to really create one holiday look. Um, I think that's awesome and I do plan on using these products this month. So good foresight on their behalf. Great products this month. I have no complaints. Um, the only thing I do question is that they still bill themselves is a full-size beauty box that sends out five products per month. And this is the second month in a row that they've sent out four full-size products and one sample size product. It's not a big deal because obviously the value of the box is still going over what I pay for the box, but I'm just curious to see, are they gonna start changing the wording because you can't really say you send out five full-size products if you're only sending out four. So I'll be curious to see um, how they address that or if next month they send out five full-size products again. We'll see. So. That's it from me with this Wantable review. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.